Hello, and, again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. What was once considered simply trial software meant to supplement the Orange Box in 2007, Portal has since evolved into its own series, with its sequel set for release next week. Thanks to a development team over three times as large as its predecessors, Portal 2 will come packed with distinct, single, and cooperative campaigns, both promising to be double the length of the original. You return as Chell in the solo campaign, and the story picks up where the original left off, give or take a couple hundred years. She was kept in suspended animation until Wheatley, a very British personality sphere, No thanks, look, we're good, no thank you, reunites her with the facility's computer brain GLaDOS, also recently rebooted and more than happy to continue testing. I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. The game's original writers return, and with over 13,000 lines of recorded dialogue, expect more clever cracks from the evil computer with more voices to drive the story through each area. Spider-Man actor J.K. Simmons calls it like he sees it as the CEO of Aperture Science, Cave Johnson. All right, let's get started. Who's ready to make some science? Further pushing the narrative, mad scrawls and graffiti pepper the walls, much like they did in the original Portal. These sketches come from an unseen and mysterious former employee, only known as Ratman. And how much of an impact he'll have on the overall plot is yet to be seen. Unbelievable. This next test is impossible. Following its predecessor's formula, players advance through puzzling chambers by creating portals to transport themselves and objects through. Once again, excellent work. New to Portal 2 are paint-like gels that create different surface types. One gel will increase Chell's speed and momentum, while another one repels her to new heights. Puzzles will get even trickier with special cubes that redirect lasers, tractor beam-like funnels that can travel through well-placed portals, special panels that launch whatever they come in contact with, and more. In the cooperative campaign, which can be played online or local split-screen, you and a friend play as robots formerly under the command of GLaDOS. Your defection angers her, forcing you through a complicated set of test chambers she calls the Cooperative Testing Initiative, in which you and your partner must work together to complete each puzzle. Expect some of the single-player tribulations to cross over into co-op play, though unlike the solo campaign, if a player dies, a new robot will simply respawn, allowing players to continue on with the problem at hand. Two features that should come in handy are the option to play split-screen, even at times while online, and the new ping ability that allows you to place markers in the world to make communicating strategies less stressful. While many puzzles will force teammates to directly work together, some areas you'll traverse by yourself until you meet up later on. Oh good, you're back. The story sounds pretty much like the original, but will we even care with the new gameplay additions sure to create more mind-bending puzzles? Find out in our full review next week. This next test could take a very, very long time. I think we can put our differences behind us. Goodbye.